Hello everyone, today I'm making a video for Guardian of Light 137. This is to try and help him fix his Nexus Mod Manager. It says here he tried to download my mod and it failed. Now every time I open the manager, it says there's an error in loading the mod, but it's nowhere to be found. How do I fix this? Well, let's try and find it. So, first of all, let's go open up the Nexus Mod Manager. Now I assume He's getting the air when he starts this, probably right before the big window opens. Alright, so now that we're here, go online. Alright, so you're going to want to go up here to your settings. It looks like two little gears. And under general, Look for the temporary path directory. Whatever this says, go to that place using the file browser on your computer. So mine is D and then temp. So it would be this. And nothing in here from Nexus. So the other place I will look is go into your Skyrim tab, the mod directory. I don't want to click this, or well, rather, go to that location. For me, it is in D Games Nexus Mods. It'll tell you right in here. You can actually copy this. You could do a Control All. No, oh, maybe not. Just copy this, and then you can paste it in here. And there you go. This is where all your mods will be that you've downloaded with the manager. Since you've downloaded mine, it might be in here using the manager. This is the only other place it could be, I think. It's the only place that makes sense. If you can't find it here, the only other thing I could tell you is go to general, go to the trace log directory. Mine, it's C users. My name. Documents. You can just go to documents. Go to documents. And the Nexus mod manager will be in there. All these are trace logs. It'll be the latest one. I'll have the date, click it, and this tells you everything that's happening. Usually, since it's an error that happens when it's loading, it probably will be in the middle-ish area. Won't be in the end. For me, I was having an issue where it would crash because my mod I made is too large for my C drive. What the Nexus Mod Manager does is it, like, backwrites all the mod to your C drive temporarily on installing which is not a very good feature I wish they didn't have that because it, it it basically like just fills however big the actual mod is it writes it all to your C drive for however long it takes to install a mod so if your C drive only has 10.2 gigs and it's 11 your SOL and you have to manually uninstall it so I hope this helped. If it did, let me know, either on the mod page or on the comments below. Um, other than that, I've got some more videos coming. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.